Hello and welcome STEM students. Today we are going to be talking about apples and doing an activity with apples because it's fall here and I've been enjoying some fall activities. I went apple picking earlier this week and I took a little walk through my neighborhood and took some pictures of some beautiful trees that are turning colors because it's fall and I wanted to share a couple of those with you. But I wanted to share this activity with you and this activity goes along with the mystery science curriculum. Um, those of you who are not my students and are interested in this, it is a free website for the first year if you are a teacher and it also has several activities like the mini lesson I'm going to use today. That is completely free, but I wanted to give them credit because this is their activity. What you're going to need for today's activity is some colored construction paper, which we're going to be crumpling into balls as our apples. Some plain white paper, scrap paper is great for this. Some tape. And you may or may not want to use a pair of scissors. My, the way I'm going to do it, I don't need scissors, but you may. So the first thing we're going to do is we have to make some apples using our construction paper. And the way you make some apples is you just crumple it into a ball so that it's about the size of an apple. I'm going to do a couple of these. And then I'm going to set them aside for a little while because what I need to do now is create an apple picker. If you've ever been apple picking, you may notice if you don't get there really early in the season, all the low apples have been picked. So you really need like a ladder or some sort of tool to get the apples that are higher up in the tree. So what we're going to do today, we're not going to be putting our apples high up in a tree. We're going to be putting them on our desk, but then we're going to be taking a step back from the desk so that we have to have some sort of a tool to be able to pick those apples. So what you have to work with today is some paper. Now we've been working a lot with paper and you know paper is really floppy. It doesn't work well as a tool all on its own and it's also not going to be long enough because I want you to have something that's at least two sheets of paper long that can reach the apples. So I have to think of ways to make this paper strong and in the past I, I've rolled it into a cylinder that makes it strong. If I tape this, it, I can fold it. Like when I was making bridges, I could make it into like a truss bridge kind of thing. Um, or I could just crumple it because even crumpling it will make this stiffer than a regular piece of paper. But then I have to do that a couple times because I'm gonna need a longer tool. And I might have a tool that is just one handle so maybe I make this tool. I gotta to tape it together a little bit. I'm not gonna go crazy with the tape. Just use just enough tape to get them to stick together. Now, would this be a really good tool for picking up an apple? Hmm, probably not yet. I might want two of these, or I might wanna put something on the end so it can scoop up apples, something like that. So I'm gonna design a tool and then I'm gonna test it. The way I test it is I put my apples down on the table. I take a full step back and then I use my tool and see how well it works. Then I count how many apples I was able to get, if any. If you're not able to get any, go back and redesign your original tool. If though you are able to get some apples, it's time to do a challenge. And I wanna see if you can design a tool so you can pick up more than one apple at a time. Can you get two or three with just your one use of your tool? So go ahead, get creative with this, have fun. I hope you are getting outside and enjoying fall where you are and maybe have the opportunity to pick some apples as well. Enjoy this activity and I will see you later. Now I wanted to add that mystery science is an online science curriculum. It's one that my school uses, but if you don't happen to have that curriculum or um, are interested in it, it's free for the first year for teachers and the mini lesson that I'm going to show you today is part of their collection of mini lessons, which is always free to teachers. So um, you only have to pay if you're using the whole curriculum. So I will link to that video down below if you're interested in showing the whole video or seeing the whole behind the scenes thing. But I just wanted to give them credit because this is not a lesson that I created. I'm copying their lesson and I just want to feed some traffic their way uh, as a thank you to them.